Um, how do we start to look at it? I'm the biggest backup quarterback for the last couple of weeks, and how close are we to the greater uh, once again, we, you know, we won't we won't get into talking about um, you know, injuries and things like that. Um, and again, I understand you've got to ask the question, but um, Sean's done a really nice job in his role. I mean, you know, it's, it's hard to argue. I think he's completed every single pass and 50% of them for touchdowns and one for the longest touchdown in the history of Beaver Stadium. So, pretty good start. A pretty good start for him. Um, you know, he's gotten a lot of reps over the last year and a half in practice. He's extremely competitive. He's extremely prideful. That's very, very important to him. Uh, he is focused. He is locked in. So I think in a lot of ways this has been a blessing in disguise. You know, I think if, if, you know, if, if Tommy had been taking the reps that he'd been normally taking you know, in practice and games, then maybe Sean would have been able to get this opportunity. So now, that we we got three guys that have all played in games and played at a pretty high level, um, so so you know, I, I think in the long run this is this is a real positive for us. But uh, we expect to you know have uh, all three of those guys available for Saturday. Um, Friday. We, okay. For Friday, thank you, thank you, Chris. Friday, excuse me. Uh, we we expect to have all those guys available for the game this week. It happens to be on Friday. Um, and, and you know, and I will I will share this with you. If if we needed Tommy last week, we, we could we could have played Tommy last week. So um, you know, we're just probably being a little more cautious uh, than probably we needed.